Whoa, what's going on, Remain? It's Pastor Pat. Welcome to Remain at Home. Glad you joined us wherever you're at, whenever you're watching this. Glad you did. Hope you enjoy this week's service. We're going to have worship from uh, one night service a couple months ago. It's one song. It's a new song called Rattle that the team did, and we're going to do that. And then we're going to jump into a message that I get to share from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Quit worrying is the title of it. So hang tight, worship song, message, see you after. Good to see you. Man, what an amazing song that was. Rattle, that was from our live stream a couple of months ago. Uh, we do a, a, a live stream once a month called One Night. 
and the team killed it that night. And, and I wanted to, to utilize that song to lead into this message today. Um, we're going to look at Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. The title of the message is Quit Worrying. You, know, you could see behind me, we are in, some of you will recognize it, we're in the barn today. Um, it, has been, it has been a minute since we've had a service in here. Um, but I thought it'd be good as we're making some adjustments to how we're doing our Remain at Home recordings. We're going to be doing two a month. And we're going to be shortening them up. We're going to have one worship song. We're going to have a shorter message because we want you to be able to have um, the opportunity to send these out. And one of our students told me a couple weeks ago, hey, if the services were shorter, it would be easier for my friends to, to take it, open it up, and then watch it. And so we're, we're trying to do that. We want to make it easier for you. We also want to make it easier for you to send it to your friends as well. So uh, we're making some adjustments and stuff, but I just want to say I am so proud of every one of you. Even if you're watching for the first time today, one of your friends sent you this video. Man, I'm proud of you. You're still pushing forward. You may have stumbled a little bit over the last few months uh, through this pandemic, but you're still pushing forward because you're still here today. And you know, as I was getting ready, I was looking at Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. I was just thinking about how much worrying I've done over the last four and a half, five months since COVID came onto the scene. I've worried about you. I've worried about uh, this community. I've worried about my family. I've worried about me. You know, how am I going to, to navigate? How am I going to lead through this moment um, that is unprecedented? None of us have had to lead through anything like this or even live through it. And uh, so yeah, there's been days I've worried more than others. But there's this verse in Philippians 4, verse 6, and it says this. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. And I'll tell you what, there's those days where I do creep to the worry, but I quit wor worrying in that moment. I begin to pray. And then I begin to tell God, thank you for everything he's done, everything he's done in me, everything he's, he's doing in, in our family, through our church, in this community, in you. And so today, I want us to just grab a hold of worry. I want us to take control of it. You see, this, this verse tells us not to be anxious about anything, not to worry about anything. And, you know, oftentimes that's difficult to do. You might see lots of, of bad things going on. You may look around the world and go, man, the world is going crazy. Or maybe you feel that you're, you're under you know, too much stress at school or, or at home or you know, in, in, in other areas of your life. You've just got so much stress going on. But even in the middle of all of this, God tells us not to worry. God tells us don't be anxious. But how is that possible? How is that possible that, that you can go through life without being anxious? You see, the rest of the verse tells us how to do it. We need to do two things. The first is pray. And the second is be thankful. Pray and be thankful. When choosing to be thankful, it changes our perspective on the situation. Instead of being stressed out, about you know how demanding school is or how challenging school is going to be doing virtual learning um, you could be thankful that you're able to go to school you could be thankful for the life that you do have in that moment today i want you to do one thing i want you to push aside that anxiety i want you to push aside that worry i want you to pray and i want you to find something to be thankful for choose to be a person who prays and a person who's thankful. You'll find that as you become uh, thankful, it's hard to worry. As you become you know, one who prays, it's hard to remain anxious in that moment. You see, it's hard to be, to be anxious when you're thankful. It's hard to be, to be a worrier when you are a person who prays and communicates with God and gives it to him and puts your trust in him. So today, I want you to quit your worrying. I want you to quit being anxious. Philippians 4, verse 6. Let me read it one last time. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. 
Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Thank him. So pray and give thanks today. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you. God, I thank you for, for all of our students. God, I thank you for those that are going to be watching. Maybe it's a parent. Maybe it's a, you know, somebody else who came across this video. God, I pray that today, God, they would be thankful. God, and they would become people of prayer. God, because you know, in order to live a life of, you know, that's free of worry and free of anxious, you know, anxious feelings, anxiety, God, we need to do those two things. We need to pray and we need to be thankful. And God, I pray that happens today. God, I pray that we would just find those things to be thankful for today. We'll find those things, God, to, to say thank you, you know, for providing. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you. God, we love you. We thank you. Praise your name. Amen.